On this episode of Eat Sleep Drive, we turn my Porsche up to 11 with straight pipe. What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Eat Sleep Drive and boy am I excited for this one. I've alluded to it in my prior videos but today my 911 gets its first mod and that is an exhaust from Fab Speed. Guys I'm super pumped for this video. I've uh, been waiting to basically uncork this car for quite a while and huge shout out to Fab Speed for providing this. Uh, they provide the exhaust in exchange for me to give my you know, review and impressions of it, which is great because I was, when I was looking at exhaust, I was pretty much gonna buy this one anyways. Uh, so this is actually a muffler delete, which is why the box is so small. So a couple reasons that I wanted to choose a muffler delete. Number one, it saves like 50 to 60 pounds. And you'll see when I take these mufflers out, they're huge and they're heavy. Number two, they're like significantly cheaper than any of the other exhausts that, uh, you would find for a Porsche, go figure, right? Porsche exhausts are expensive. Um, obviously it can't possibly flow any less than an exhaust, so it's gonna provide the most performance gains. So yeah, overall it's a win, and I think probably most importantly, out of all those, it sounds amazing. All the videos I've heard online of this sound amazing, and we're gonna find out today exactly what it sounds like on my 2006 Carrera S. So, let's unbox this. I wanted to wait until you guys were present for me to uh, pull this out of the box and check it out, which has been killing me because since I received it in the mail, I've wanted to do nothing but open this box up. But packaged pretty well. Let me just pull these shiny bits out. There you go. It's super simple. What we're doing here with the Fab Speed exhaust muffler deletes is and I'll show you under the car, basically we're bypassing the mufflers, removing the mufflers, and these mount up to the stock tip. So I'll be able to retain a stock look with these things. Super nice finish on these, as you would expect. Nice welds, got the nice uh, Fab Speed logo right there for some street cred. Basically what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you guys how to remove the mufflers and install these. And then what I'm gonna do is have a before and after shot of the exhaust. I've already taken this thing out, got a before video of what it sounds like stock. And then once we're done, I'm gonna take it out and do an after video with sound, obviously, and uh, get what it sounds like with the muffler deletes. So let's dive in and install these now. The first step for these muffler deletes is you might as well go ahead and jack the car up now uh, because at some point we're going to have to take off the wheel in order to slide the muffler out. So I went ahead and jacked up the car and uh, chalked the front wheels. And then the first step for removing these mufflers is we do have to remove the muffler tips because we're basically going to be adapting the tips to the new muffler deletes. So, you see this bolt over here? Right here? That guy, uh, we need to loosen him. But also while I'm down here, I might as well point out, you can see those bolts there for holding on the uh, exhaust clamps. I went ahead and hit those with PB Blaster. Mine look pretty corroded. I hit them with some PB Blaster to hopefully free them up a little bit and uh, hope that they come out easy and don't break. Once you loosen up that bolt holding on the clamp, you can basically just wiggle the exhaust tip off. Next, we're gonna move on to these uh, exhaust clamp bolts. This exhaust clamp clamps down on the pipes and holds them together. In my experience, I usually have to remove both because the one on the left will still have enough tension that it will hold this uh, clamp and, and not let you slide this out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove both these. It's not too big of a deal, just two 13 millimeter nuts. Unfortunately, but rather not surprisingly, both bolts sheared right off. So I'm going to have to go get new fasteners from the hardware store, so keep this in mind if you're encountering your car. This car hasn't seen salt, but um, even cars I've seen online, like in California and stuff, uh, they seem to have this issue. 
It's worth noting just to break the bolts off, I had to use a nut extractor because when I went to use a regular socket, the nut rounded anyways. I'll put a link in the description below for where you can get one. We're back under the car and at this point the only thing holding the muffler on is this bracket. Uh, this bracket right here and you can see, see that one bolt right there? There's three of them back there and really hard to show. One, two, and then three like right down in there. Uh, basically, we just have to remove those three bolts and then this whole muffler along with this bracket will come off. At this point, we're super close to getting this muffler out. We just have to remove this T25 Torx fastener down here to the bottom. And then up here, there is a 10 millimeter bolt to remove this little bracket that holds the bumper on. And the very last step, just to give you enough room to get that muffler out, is to take off this wheel. She's a big one. Now that we have the wheel off, we should have enough room to get that muffler out. Basically just pull it off of where that clamp was and it should come right out. Sucker's heavy, holy cow. One muffler. Now you obviously do that on both sides. You remove the muffler on both sides. As you can see, we took it out with this ent entire bracket still attached, which we're not gonna need anymore. It's just added weight. Do that on both sides, and then now we can go and install the muffler deletes. I ran to Home Depot and got some hardware for these clamps. They're just M8 bolts with a flange nut on the other side. Now we're on to the easy part and more importantly, the fun part where we actually get to install our parts. So this is super simple. Uh, I'm just gonna take the clamp, put it back on this pipe, uh, match it up with kind of where you see the marks from the last time you took it off. And then you just take your fab speed pipe and stick her in there. Get it roughly lined up with where you think it should be in the bumper and then what I'm going to do is just snug these down a little bit enough to where it's tight but um, not too tight where I can't still move this around because I, I want to get this angle just right on this pipe. Now the reason I didn't fully tighten down those bolts down there is because this tip can really go in and be oriented quite a few ways. And you can also see that this can really, like we can rotate this pipe up or down. So I wanna get this angle just right, so I left it kinda of loose. And now what I'm gonna do is put on the tip. I put the tip loosely on, and now I'm gonna do the same thing and snug up this bolt that was on the tip and then just kind of play with the orientation of this pipe. Make sure they're even on both sides. And really, it's just a lot of back and forth of kind of stepping back, looking at the level of the pipe, looking at the side, looking at how much it protrudes. And then once you're happy, um, after it's all you know, snug down and in place, just then you can crank them down and um, you will finally set the orientation of the tips. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's cold start this thing.
some light throttle stuff. Oh. It is loud. <laughs> no doubt about it, it is loud. This is silly. a stop sign to more or less get on like a highway here let's let it eat let's see let's see what it sounds like <laughs> oh my god it's so loud up and see what it's like at highway speed so there's drone when you get on it for sure but right now I'm doing 75 it's interesting you almost feel more the vibration of the sound than the sound itself like I can definitely hear the exhaust a little bit but it's not it's not super droney it's not like wow like I've had Subarus, STIs with virtually no exhaust, and they like blah, drone a lot. This one's really honestly not that bad. You could definitely put up with this on a highway. Like I said, you really get more of the resonance of the sound, like the vibrations itself, the deeper noise than anything else. Yeah, it, it sounds good. I am happy with this mod. It makes the car just kind of feel more eventful and exciting. This isn't my daily driver, so when I get in it, I want to be excited. And come on, all right. There's a bridge here. A small bridge, but you know, you know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Oh my god, that, I have tingles. The hair is standing up on my friggin' arms. It sounds ridiculous in the best way possible. All right, so what do I think about these muffler deletes from Fab Speed? Well, there's really way more pros and cons, and I'm not even sure there is really a con to this exhaust or this mod. So basically, you have a couple things with uh, a muffler delete. You have the fitment, which was great. Uh, I'll show you some shots of the back where I think I got the tips to line up perfectly. I think it looks great. You would never, you would never come up and say it looks anything other than stock uh, or like it doesn't line up or anything like that. So the fitment is great. The quality is good. They're quality stainless. There has a lifetime warranty. So if it does have imperfections, I guess they'll replace it for you. Um, so that's good. And it sounds amazing. That's probably most important. Uh, it gives you certainly more power, right? Like it couldn't give you less power than before. Not like a probably a huge horsepower gain, but I would imagine some. That's what the butt dyno says at least. And oh yeah, it saved like 40 to 50 pounds in weight saving. So that's pretty solid for like a simple mod. So those are the pros that I see. The only cons or downsides, and I don't even know if I would call these downsides. So it's louder. Like. But that's why you want muffler deletes, right? Because you want a louder car. You want it to sound amazing. I think it sounds like a poor man's GT3. Dare I say that? This might piss some people off. Dare I say that? When you're cruising, it doesn't really drone. Um, obviously, when you get on it, light throttle, it, it makes a lot of noise. So if you're okay with noise, then you're fine. Uh, and then the only other thing is like, these are around $500, I think, from Fab Speed. And at surface value, you might look at them and be like, well, that's a lot of money for you know two pipes or whatever, but it kind of depends how you look at it because from the first point of view, port, uh, exhaust for these cars are 
thousands and thousands of dollars. This isn't a Subaru STI where you can like go on eBay and buy a $125 exhaust. You know, these are thousands of dollars. So from a perspective point of view, it's way cheaper than everything else. And then also added to that, if you wanted to duplicate this, uh, you could go to an exhaust shop and they could weld you something up, probably for like a couple hundred dollars for like a decent one. But is it gonna look this good? Is it gonna fit this well? I'm not so sure. To me, it's like you just pay the $500, install it in your garage, and then go on. Like, you know it's gonna fit well, you know they're gonna back their product. So, I mean, I think it's a no-brainer. For 500 bucks, uh, this car, it just gets me excited now to drive. Like, it's always been a fun car to drive, but it just takes that excitement level a little bit higher. It kind of gives it more of an exotic feel. So, I appreciate you guys watching as always. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Did I ruin the car? Did I make it better? I think it sounds amazing. But I appreciate you guys watching as always. We'll see you on the next episode of Eat Sleep Drive. Go to fabspeed.com or click on the link in the description if you want your very own muffler deletes.